What's up guys? I've got 10 tips and tricks for you to be more efficient at AutoCAD and AutoCAD architecture. Draw better, draw faster, draw smarter. Here we go. Number one, know the tools. All you gotta do is take your cursor and put it over top of a tool, let the menu drop down after a couple seconds, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about that tool. It'll show you a little diagram, and it'll also tell you what to type in the command line if you want to get there faster. Whoa, slow your roll there, Jamcad. You're telling me the fastest way to get to match properties is to type match prop in the command line? No way. This is number two. It's called shortcuts. Go to express tools. Go to command aliases. Find the letter of something that you want to change it to. For instance, C is for circle, but I never draw circles. So if I double click on that, I change circle to say copy. I click copy, hit OK, hit yes, hit OK, hit OK. And then go down where it says copy and remove that one. Yes, OK. Now I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of clicks to do this, but if you hit apply and you hit yes to saving it and you hit OK and you hit OK again and you hit OK again, finally C enter becomes copy. Number three is save, save often and save as. How many times do you lose work because you forgot to hit save? It happens to me all the time. But what I started doing was I go up to the A, I hit options, across the top you'll see open and save and I change the automatic save to be every two minutes, which means in the background, it's automatically saving on its own every two minutes, and I'm only able to lose two minutes of work. Hit apply, hit okay. The other thing is save as. I do a save as all of the time because I wanna have old versions of my file for so many different reasons. Example, your client wants you to change, mm, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like this room, I wanna flip this and that. So you do it, and then you show it to them, and they say, no, I like the other way better. Do a save as. Or if it's like that beach house, the blue one that's on my Instagram page, I save as 47 times because I didn't want to lose any work because sometimes files go corrupt. Number four is the pick box size. Does it seem like you can't click on whatever you're trying to click on because the box is just too small? Here's what you do. Go up to the A, hit options, go to selection, and change the pick box size to be a little bit bigger. Don't go crazy because you don't want it to be over top of two different lines and the system not know which one you want, but it is very, very small when this software is new. So hit apply, hit OK, and you'll see the aperture and pick box size becomes a little bit bigger. Number five is use layers. If you have a really complex drawing, how are you gonna know what's what if everything is the same color on the same layer? Right now I'm looking at a floor plan. This is structural. Do I really need to be looking at structural right now or do I need to see electrical? If you don't, I can type lay off and click on any one of those layers I don't wanna see and boom, they go away and the drawing doesn't seem so complicated anymore. Use layers. By the way, use lay on to turn everything back on. Number six is to use your drawing space. It's infinite for a reason. It's like a garage that will never be full. Take your work, especially the things that you want to save for later, and move them outside. That way you can always refer back to them, especially if you're going to delete or modify it in the other part of your drawing. Use your drawing space. Number seven is to use a template. This is my template. It's got sample homes, things that I've already worked on. It's got an area for me to draw my new stuff in. And if it's for my students, I have an area for them to draw their stuff too. If you wanna use it, it's in the description of this video right now. Here's how you do it. Go to the file explorer, go to view, make sure that hidden items is checked. That way you can actually see the things that I'm talking about right now. Go to the A, do a save as, make sure you save it as a DWT file, and you have to go a couple different ways to get this, but go to the C drive or wherever Windows is installed, go to Program Data, Autodesk, either AutoCAD 2021 or AutoCAD Architecture 2021, ENU, no idea what that stands for, and Template, 
and save it in there. That way, every time you go up to the A and you hit new, you can just grab that template file and work inside of that. So much easier. Number eight is to zoom in. I know it sounds simple, but my students don't do it for some reason. Zoom into your work, especially when dimensioning, so that you don't accidentally click the wrong corner. If you click the wrong corner and the dimension ends up being wrong, that could throw your whole plan off. Pun intended. Number nine might just save your life, especially if you're a teacher. Everything that you do in this software is being registered in the command line. If I hit F2, it'll show me everything I've done and I can scroll forever. So if you're one of your students makes a mistake and you want to see exactly where they went wrong, F2 will show you everything. Ta-da! Number 10, I never ask for, but I'm asking now. Subscribe and click the bell for my channel because no one does and I don't know why. 95% of my users are not subscribed. This channel will teach you everything you want to know about AutoCAD and AutoCAD architecture and a million other softwares that I use as well. Do you want to learn something today, tomorrow, every day? Subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it, guys. And lastly, here's a special shout out to three lovely little girls, my nieces, Sophia, Emma, and Reagan. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Uncle Joe loves you. See you later, guys.